Hi everyone and welcome back to Brie Healthy. Tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo, so I thought of a healthy recipe for you to make either for yourself or to share with others for tomorrow's holiday. Today I'll be showing you how to make my mango tomatillo guacamole with some healthy tortilla chips on the side. These are healthy, low calorie alternatives to the typical guacamole and tortilla chips that you would either buy in stores or have at restaurants. So let's start cooking. So let's start with the tortilla chips. So here I have some Ezekiel 4-9 sprouted grain tortillas. These are my personal favorite and I highly recommend these because they are made with all natural ingredients and they have no preservatives in them either. So let's start by taking two tortillas, putting them on a plate and cutting them into tortilla triangles. One tortilla should be a serving for one person. Now I'm going to lay these out evenly spaced about a quarter inch apart from each other on a baking sheet lined with tin foil. If you put them too close together, they might get a little bit soggy and not the crispiness that you want. Now we're going to sprinkle them with a little bit of salt, just to add some extra flavor. Now let's put them in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. Keep checking on them to make sure that they're not burning and that they're just the right amount of crispy. In the meantime, let's get started on this guacamole. Here's what you'll need. So to make two servings, here are the ingredients you'll need. One medium-sized avocado, one ripe tomato, a lemon, a tomatillo. This is kind of like a tomato, except it's kind of very bitter and adds a nice little zest to the guacamole. One sweet onion, a white one, a mango, and some salt and pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. So after just about eight minutes in my convection oven, the tortilla chips are nice and crispy. Now take them out and sit them and let them cool down for a little bit just to make sure they stay crispy. So cut open the avocado. We're going to remove the avocado pit and scoop the insides of the avocado right into the bowl. Put both halves right in there. So now take a fork and we're going to mash the avocado. Make sure to not mash it too much because you do want your guacamole to still be a little chunky. So now finally chop the onion, tomato, mango, and tomatillo. I've already chopped mine, but you want to make sure that the tomatillo is very, very thinly diced. Also, it's up to you how much of each ingredient you want to use, but I used about a third of my mango, a half of my red tomato, most of my very small tomatillo, and about a quarter of the onion. So now let's mix it in with the avocado. Now let's add the chopped up ingredients into the avocado. So go ahead and mix that all together. Remember you still don't want to mash your avocado too much so be a little gentle but make sure that all of the ingredients are evenly distributed in there. Now that it's all mixed together Let's add a little bit of spices. So first let's put some pepper in here. This is a mix of black and red pepper, a pinch of salt, a little bit of garlic powder, and squeeze some fresh lemon in there. If any of the seeds fall in, just make sure to take them right out. And now mix this all together. Mm, this is going to be so delicious. I can't wait to try it. So there you have it. Some extremely delicious, healthy guacamole. Now let's try it out with some of the chips we made. Look how nice and crispy the chips came out. Mm, I can't wait to give this a try. 
All right, first bite, here it goes. Mmm. That is so good. I definitely recommend that you make these for Cinco de Mayo, or any day, really. These have been so delicious, and I can't wait to make them again, and I haven't even finished them yet. So don't mind me, but I'm going to be over here having a couple more. Have a great day.